Mechanical advantage of the machine. All six of the simple machines have been used for thousands of years. Like, you know, back to the Stone Age, that little wheel going round and round and round and round. These machines can be used together to create an even greater mechanical advantage, as in the case of a bicycle. It is very controversial about how many simple machines there really are. Some say there are only five simple machines, arguing that the wedge is a moving inclined plane. Others further simplify the list to four, saying that the screw is a helical inclined plane. This position is less accepted because a screw simultaneously converts a rotational force to a linear force. Some go even further to insist that only two simple machines exist, as a pulley and wheel and axle can be viewed as unique forms of levers, leaving only a lever and inclined plane. But for learning purposes, we'll explain the six simple machines, the lever, wheel and axle, and kind of plane, the wedge, the screw, and of course, the pulley. Woo! The first simple machine, let's go to the workshop downstairs with Dan to check out the lever. Dan, on the cake job. Come. We are at the workshop to uh, demonstrate how we can use a lever to our advantage. A lever is a simple machine that consists of a rigid object and a fulcrum. Applying a force to one end of the rigid object causes it to pivot above the fulcrum, causing a magnification of the force at another point along the rigid object. Diff. But with the use of a lever, you have much more advantage to hitting the nail. Great use of a hammer as a lever is pulling out the nail. This is the fulcrum. This is the lever. Voila. Now after that fascinating, awesome explanation, I was just appalled, you know. We're going to take a nice walk down to Workout World to check out the next simple machine. The wheel and axle as a fitness workout machine. And you know who will be doing that for you? Yeah, it's going to be me. Working out, I know. <laughs> this is Anthony now, General Workout World. We're gonna look at the wheel and axle. A wheel is a circular device that is attached to a rigid bar in its center. A force applied to the wheel causes the axle to rotate, which can be used to magnify the force. Alternately, a force applied to provide rotation on the axle translates into rotation of the wheel. It can be viewed as a type of lever that rotates around the center fulcrum like ferris wheels, tires, and rolling pins, for example. Here's the axle right here, and the wheels right here. Now I'm going to demonstrate this for you. Oh god! Woo! That's hot. But it's easy because it's a wheel and axle. Was hot, yes. <laughs> now, okay, back to more boring stuff. We're gonna go to the backyard and see Eric and Nick doing the uh, inclined plane simple machine. But I don't know how I can top that last one with that nice body right there. An inclined plane. No, an inclined plane is a plane surface set in an angle to another surface. This results in doing the same amount of work by applying the force over a longer distance. The most basic inclined plane is a ramp. It requires less force to move up a ramp to a higher elevation than to climb to that height vertically. The wedge is often considered a specific type of inclined plane. Evidently, it takes Eric much more effort to climb this wall than Nick. Maybe next time, Eric. Sorry about that one. What's that smell, though? Do you smell that? I think it smells like a perfect example of the wedge. Let's head on over to the cage and check this out. Demonstrating the uses of the wedge. A wedge is a double inclined plane that moves to exert a force along the lengths of the sides. 
The force is perpendicular to the inclined surfaces, so it pushes two objects apart. Axes, knives, and chisels are all wedges. The common door wedge uses the force on the surfaces to provide friction, rather than separate things, but it's still fundamentally a wedge. Here we have the knife, inclined planes on both sides, and it's used as a wedge. Wow, those potatoes looked good. Now, let's take a look at uh, Dan and the firing range to put those actual potatoes to use. Let's head on down for the fifth simple machine, the screw. Hey, this is Dan Sullivan down at the shooting range, here to show you how we use the screw. A screw is a shaft that has an inclined groove along its surface. <laughs> By rotating the screw, <laughs> the force is applied perpendicular to the grooves, thus translating a rotational force into the linear one. Hey, and one more. Look at the grooves. This is how we use the screw. Yowzers. I think that might have taught my very nice workout. But let's head over for our last simple machine. We're gonna head to the treehouse while Dan, Eric, and Nick try to pick up using a pulley a very wide heavy but of course handsome load and we are currently at the treehouse right now about to lift a wide load let's get a look at him man that kid is fat this is a happy crew the wheel with a groove along its edge where a rope or cable can be placed it uses the principle of applying force over a longer distance and also the tension in the rope or cable to reduce the magnitude of the necessary force. Complex systems of pulleys can be used to greatly reduce the force that must be applied initially to move an object. Here we are about to show how a pulley works. We have two men pulling one end of the rope around the end of the tree back down and one fat load holding onto the rope. Let's show you, shall we? Ready? Pull the rope, boys! One, two, Three. Uh, 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 uh. While he's up there, look at that. Uh. Release him. Uh. And this is what would happen if you didn't have a pulley. Uh. Things get a little hotter than they look. With the help of these six simple machines, we've been able to create great inventions such as the bicycle. The bicycle uses the crank as a lever the chain as a pulley system, the wheel and axle as wheel and axles, the brakes as wedges, and the whole bike is held together as screws. Then on the bike you can use inclined ramps to go off cool jumps. So, for this first simple machine, how about we go take a look... What was that? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe next time, Eric. Oh, what's that smell? I think I smell something. Oh, that's the smell of the wedge! No, my bad. <laughs> but, with the use of a lever, you have much more advantage to hitting the nail. The wedge is often considered a specific type of inclined plane. Right, let me just do that all over again. The same amount of work by applying the, applying the force... You can't say you can't. I, could, I couldn't like see where I was. I didn't. I had no idea where I left off. That's how we use the screw. Plane oh. <laughs> that moves to exert a. F <sighs> I didn't stop it. Stop taping me. Stop! <laughs>